And now with repetitive flashing images, the DAD News at 80 with Thomas Alexander. Tonight at 80. A man has saved a young boy from drowning in Newark, Scotland, leaping to the rescue from a bridge. Two eight-year-olds have been caught spearing fish in their headmaster's pond. They have both been forced to join the RSPCA. And a young man has been banned from a casino, apparently because he was winning too much. Good evening, and welcome to the DAD News at 80. Our main story tonight, James Stewart's Charles Adrian Worsley, aka Wurzel, aka Dad, aka Grandpa, aka Puff Puff, turns 80 today. People around the country are gathering to celebrate this momentous occasion, and we've sent our reporter, Timothy Charles, to find out more about the man. Thanks, Tom. Yes, you join me here in Eastham, where Mr Worsley has been an integral part of the community for over 30 years. Here at Eastham Church, I meet local lad Robin End. Robin, hello, good to meet you. I see the churchyard is in beautiful condition, grass at perfect length. Who is involved in the general upkeep with this? Um, Mr Worsley. I see we have another local friend here. Um, so also in the church, um, the service is very well run and it's generally a full house, I believe. Who with the vicar is involved with the general help and support? Mm, Mr Worsley. Interesting. Mr Worsley is clearly heavily involved throughout the village. I don't think we have anything from you, sir. No. Back to you in the studio. We'll be back with Tim later on. Turning 80 may not seem that impressive, but religious leaders around the world have hailed this birthday as a miracle. I'm joined now by Dr Foster. Good evening, Doctor. Hello. Can you tell us why this birthday has been hailed officially as a miracle? Yes, of course. I have Mr Worsley's long medical history right here. It includes high blood pressure, a triple heart bypass, esophageal cancer, and more recently, gout. So in your professional opinion, what is the secret to his survival? Well, that is where the story gets interesting. Mr Worsley has a very dedicated diet of Cuban cigars, wines of every colour from all around the world, all topped off with a regular culinary feast. An inspirational approach. Yes. He's even discovered that beer is scientifically more refreshing than water. Dr Foster, thank you very much for your time. Drink for me, please. Uh, yes, OK. Uh, worth noting that these celebrations will be continuing throughout the year, with many, many, many lunches in Worcestershire, a special horse racing event in the north of England to rival Royal Ascot, and also celebrations in West London too. Now it's time for an update from our political editor, Charlie Seffi. Thanks, Tom. I'm here in Brussels, where the European Union have been discussing the latest Brexit development. Oh, uh, we seem to have lost the line to Brussels there. And um, we'll go instead to Nottinghamshire, uh, where Catherine Sarah has this report. I am here in the library at Workstop College, where things are eerily quiet. A mysterious illness has broken out and all the children have gone home. All it seems, except one. I have tracked down this poor, unfortunate teenager to find out what on earth is going on. Now tell me, boy, why are you still here when everyone else has gone home? All of my friends went home since the illness broke out, but my dad says I need to stay at school and pass my French exam. Oui? Oui. C'est vrai? C'est vrai. Quel dommage. Quel dommage. Well, this does seem like extremely strict parenting. Let's hope that if you only leave school with just four O-levels, that French will be one of them. Thank you, Catherine. 
Uh, I think we have the line to Brussels back up and running. Uh, Charlie, are you there? Yes, yes, Tom, Tom, I'm here, yes. Uh, as I was saying, Brexit is still an absolute blow. Oh dear, there really does seem to be a problem with that line there. Um, we do, however, still have our line up and running to Worcestershire, uh, where the wind is really picking up. Uh, Tim, what's the latest? You join me down here at Eastern Bridge. Now in 2016, this bridge fell into the River Team itself, cutting off the village as a whole from the world. Now, Robin, join me here. Hope you can hear us back in the studio. Now, Robin, Obviously the council were involved, but so were the villagers. Who in the village was the most involved in getting this bridge back up and running? Mr Worsley! Mr Worsley, interestingly, heavily involved once again. Our intrepid reporter Timothy Charles braving the elements there in Worcestershire. Uh, now let's try Brussels one more time. Hello Charlie Seffi. Brexit is a load of Okay, thanks, Charlie. I think we get the picture. Uh, no more politics tonight. No way. Absolutely not. Uh, I'm delighted to say that I'm now joined in the studio by a very special guest, uh, Val Sassoon. Yeah. So, Val, tell me what happened to you today. I see. And what did he want? How much did you charge him? Fourteen. Oh, that seems awfully cheap. <laughs> Thanks, Val. That story will never get old. Now, earlier in the show, we heard about a young boy who was kept at school despite an epidemic breaking out. Catherine Sarah has more on the story. I have tracked down the boy's housemaster, who runs Portland House. Mr. George Sibley. Now, Mr. Sibley, you have a reputation for being something of a fierce disciplinarian. What have you got to say about this boy? This boy was in my office a few days ago, talking to me about his future job. And he, was, he had been watching this TV programme called Perry Mason about a lawyer. So because he was so obsessed with this TV programme, he told me that he'd like to be a lawyer when he was older. And I told him, boy, you wouldn't make a dustman. Well, I wouldn't be so sure about that. We'll have to see how this story unfolds. This is Catherine for the DAD News at 80. I think this is corked. Back to our main story. Adrian Worsley turns 80. Let's rejoin Timothy Charles back in Worcestershire. Here at Eastern Village Hall, you can see that perhaps it is in need of a bit of repair. Now the villagers have been working together to get some funding for this. Now, in this village, who has been involved in helping with this? Mr Worsley. Interesting, Mr Worsley once again involved. Now join me Robin. Over here you can see, perhaps not at its best, but in the summer there is a fantastic and by the way, a world renowned fate. Now at this fate, the whole village gets involved, but who likes to take the line? Like, who runs the show? Mr. Worsley. Mr. Worsley truly wants to be at the centre of attention in everything in this village. Eastern, Mr. Worsley's Eastern. Thank you. Back to you in the studio. For those of you who haven't been glued to the Bloomberg Channel all day, an update now from our economics editor, Claire Ashton. Good evening, Tom. I'm here in the city where it has been a surprisingly volatile day of trading. Markets closed 28 points up on the day with the FTSE 100 reaching 80-year highs as stocks surged in cigars, wine glasses and nibbles. In business news, signs today there could be a recovery on the way in the retail sector. With quarter profits at John Lewis, Peter Jones, Partridges and Majestic all releasing strong quarterly growth figures. And finally, some gossip from the city. One insider source told me earlier today that there could be storms ahead for Lloyds of London. Rumours are rife they will be putting an end to their infamously debauched lunches, which may be the final store for one particular Lloyds name. 
so it could be headaches all round in the city tomorrow. Claire Ashton, DAD News, London. Thank you, darling. Claire. Thank you, Claire. Uh, time now for the sport. The weather has hampered the cross country, where the runners are really struggling. Similar wet weather at the races, where the ground is extremely heavy going. Some remarkable scenes at the shooting, where the dogs have made all the headlines. Piper, good as gold, but Twiglet is causing absolute chaos. We've seen a great player at the snooker table, who notably learnt the game at a very young age at Russell School. Definitely better at the game before dinner than after though. <laughs> a star player for Leinster and Edgbaston has scored all the goals in the hockey and extraordinary scenes at the fishing after record levels of rainfall. Still plenty of water for cooling the bottles of white wine in the river. Finally, let's see what the weather has in store for us all. Hello. Here in Worcester, it's raining. A cat, many dogs, several ponies and a farm. This inclement weather hasn't helped local ponds. Phosphate levels in the streams are high. This goes to show that no matter how much the local gentry spend, the problem persists. Let's start at the top of the country, on the Isle of Lewis, where bad weather, squalling seas and gusty winds have helped a visiting fisherman, who unbelievably caught a fish off Smith's Point. Elsewhere, we see increasing spells of hot weather. Holiday makers in France make themselves entirely at home, opting for the classic French beret to keep the 35 degree heat at bay. The outlook is positive, sunny spells and plenty to look forward to. That's all from me at DAD Weather, brought to you by olivesrus.com. Lovely, George, thank you. Uh, and of course, you can see more of all of today's stories on the DAD News Channel. For now, from me and all... Hang on, we, we have breaking news in our main story. Tim, what's happening? Yes, Tom, celebrations are truly getting out of control here. I'm joined here by Police Officer Debauchery of the Ealing Police. Hello, Officer. Hello. Please, can you explain to us the situation we find ourselves in? So it was only last night that we found a suspiciously slow driver driving across the road. As we pulled him over, this was the evidence we were faced with. A half-open bottle of wine in the passenger seat. We also see this. The craft of the cocktail where the A to Z should be. And further evidence. That this man knows what he's doing. Other scenes have involved cars teetering on the edge of bridges. And in Paris, one couple couldn't even remember the hotel they were staying in. This party is getting out of control. Now, where's that wine? Remarkable scenes there, and it does indeed look like it's shaping up to be a fantastic year of celebrations. From me and all the team here at DAD News, a very good night and a very happy birthday to Dad. <laughs>